So this morning, my next guest sent a letter to Gary Gensler, chair of the SEC, and Robert Cook, CEO of the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, is also known as FINRA. He's asking both organizations to review events that are surrounded in Metamaterial Series A preferred shares. We know as MMTLP. Joining me now, South Carolina Congressman and member of the House Financial Services Committee, Representative Ralph Norman. Look at this smug smile on this fucking tool bag. He knows what time it is. It's time to take someone else's tragedy and turn it into a political point scoring event. No sooner had the ink dried on this letter than Ralph Norman and Jeff Van Drew were out there running the press pipes talking about that evil government ran by Joe Biden. And while not all Republicans were party to this, and yes, there were some names attached to that letter that were Democrats, I'm going to take a bet that most people in the MMTLP community who went to Congress to try and get help didn't have being turned into a political football on their bingo card. But as they say in politics, never let a good tragedy go to waste. The empty punditry from the two aforementioned congressmen was so obvious and so blatant, even Fox Business was like, why be silent about the quiet part? Let's just say it out loud and blatantly in the title of the clip. Even during the interview, Ralph tried to fire off his own zingers to try and get some traction for himself heading into an election year. Well, well, Charles, we had him in a, in a hearing and he tap danced around it, like you said. He knew exactly what was happening. You know, and FINRA, well, as you know, works for the SEC. Gary's supposed to know, uh, know about it. Uh, there's no excuse for this. So he's paid to know about this. And, you know, their mantra is to protect uh, the public. And if he can issue 500 pages uh, to acquire companies on their climate change and the effect on the, on the, uh, uh, on the world, the economy, he can sure find out about this. But as of now, no response we're asking yeah. for. And I understand Charles Payne set him up with a meaty, underhanded pitch for him to slap out of the park with the being coy comment about Gary Gensler so he could come around with his tap dancing line. But man, if only there was a way to know what the SEC has been up to all this time. It's not like Meta Materials had an 8K that was put out that disclosed that they had a Wells notice served on them by the SEC. Oh wait, that does actually exist? Huh, funny that. And as for Congressman Drews, the SEC and FINRA have been radio silent on this issue. That's a crock of bull and he knows it. Not only because of the aforementioned Wells notice the SEC put out, but because FINRA has produced two FAQs on the issue explaining it from top to bottom. So you can set all the way back down on that. And this isn't like it's the first time Congress has been informed on this matter. Congressional Research Service on August 21st produced a four-page document going over the MMTLP situation. And while it isn't the most in-depth or complete overview of the situation, it does give a basic outline with links for which a member of Congress could inform themselves on the matter. On September 25th, the SEC through Gary Gensler responded to Pete Sessions' letter to them asking for more information, and Gary Gensler informed Pete Sessions in the letter that his staff had communicated with Pete's staff, giving them a briefing on the matter on September 5th to all the concerns that were raised by Pete Sessions, and even went as far as to reach out and say, hey, here's a phone number if you have any further questions or you're staff needs to contact us further on the matter. And finally, on November 8th, Senators Crapo and Vance had their own letter response from Gary Gensler stating that there was an ongoing investigation and he could not elaborate further on the matter and that it's SEC policy not to give confidential information or acknowledge the existence or non-existence of any ongoing investigations until they're complete and prosecuted. But if he had any further questions beyond that, he was free to contact the SEC and their staff could exchange information as was allowed. And even as far back as June, during the Corisani case when it was with the trial court on their pre-action discovery motion, FINRA in an affidavit admitted that there was an ongoing information and that the data that was being asked for could not re be released because of that ongoing investigation. And that's information that not only the participants in the MMTLP community knew about, but that would be easily accessible for any member of Congress to go find. 
And don't get me wrong, I believe that this bipartisan letter is in good faith. However, when you have people like Representative Norman and Representative Van Drew using it for their own political purposes, it becomes clear that at least some members of Congress are using MMTLP as a political football, an attempt to advance their own political agenda and their own political careers at the expense of people who have been victimized by people like John Berta, George Palacaris, and Greg McCabe. And that is absolutely disgusting. Well, that's all I have for right now. So you folks have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll catch you in the next video.